And the reason why it's so lonely when you self-improvement and the reason why you lose friends and sometimes even family when your self-improvement is you are a reflection of what they can be. What's up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a beautiful and blessed day. Let's get straight into the video. Now, why is self-development, why is self-improvement so lonely? Why, when you are focusing on you, yourself and of uh, the five categories of self-improvement, I define the five categories of self-improvement as mental growth, spiritual growth, financial growth, and physical growth. Well, why are you, when you are improving yourself in these five categories, or you are trying to master one of these categories, why, when you doing that, niggas don't fuck with you? In order to understand this and to really grasp the meaning of this, you have to first realize and remember we are all reflections of each other. If I'm on my behind not doing much for my life and I see a nigga outside uh, doing some push-ups or some shit, right? I'm going to be like, damn, why ain't I doing some push-ups or something? That's how we think. That's how everybody thinks. We, we are all on our on uh, our own journey. No matter what, you always going to low-key compare yourself to other people. I will make a video about how you shouldn't really compare yourself to other people that negatively because it can become very toxic very quickly. But if you're just doing it in a lighter fashion, in a friendly competition fashion, then it's really not that bad. If you seeing somebody doing something and you really ain't on shit with your life, it's going to bring up some negativity, some negative emotions. And let me tell you, negative emotions aren't always a bad thing. It's tough love. It's called tough love. You have to remember that you have a spirit within you that loves you and that wants to see the most inside of you. So to get back to my example, because it is important, when you see somebody doing something and you on your ass doing nothing, it will bring up negativity inside you. And this negativity will bring up negative emotions. And what this will do is you don't want those emotions. A lot of people don't want those emotions. Now, me, I sit with them. I sit with all my negative emotions, bro. I sit with them, motherfuckers. And I learn from them. That's what you got to do. You got to be different from other motherfuckers. You have to learn from them. If you have a negative emotion, don't just slip on the TV. Don't just slip on the TikTok. Don't just go on Instagram. Don't just go on YouTube. Meditate on it. Why is this making you feel this way? And the reason why it's so lonely when you self-improvement and the reason why you lose friends and sometimes even family when your self-improvement is you are a reflection of what they can be. When they see you, they are comparing themselves to you. And since they're comparing themselves to you, this is bringing them negative emotions within themselves because they know intuitively, damn, I could be on the same shit. This nigga, all, all I got to do is work a little harder, but they don't want to work a little harder. They don't want to do what they got to do. So the easiest thing for them to do, see, see, they can see you get inspired by you work out, do what they got to do. And that's what I do with many of these people. I saw somebody who 19, I'm 19, my age. He got, he got a million dollars. He has a million dollar portfolio, bro. And he got like 300K subscribers on YouTube. See, I could do two things with that info. I can do two things. I could be like, damn, man, fuck this nigga. Dislike his videos, say some negative shit under his videos. And just, see, that shit just so disgusting to me even thinking about it. But just bring out negativity. Or I could subscribe to him. See what he on, see what his game like, see where his head is at. And try to mirror that into my life the best that I can and put some aspects of him inside of myself because we are all reflections of each other. You can do two things. 
I could do two things. What did I do? Of course, I did the positive thing and I subscribed to him. I wanted to see where his head is at. I wanted to see what he's thinking. So people take the easy way out a lot of the times. And a lot of people, they don't want to do the hard work. So they're going to cut you off and they're not going to talk to you. And that's just how it is. Because every single thing that has happened to me through high school, every single thing that has happened to me through middle school, they're still within me. They haven't left me. I've just improved myself. I looked at the past. I looked at the negativity of my life. And I flipped it into a positive. I decided that instead of looking at the negativity in my life and being like, damn, that sucks. I'm going to be like, damn, that's kind of cold. I went through all this bullshit and it made me a better person. It contributed to my chief definite aim. You will always be at the same spot until you start taking responsibility with great power comes responsibility. They don't say that shit in Spider-Man for no reason. They don't say that shit in Spider-Man for no goddamn reason. It's because as a human, bro, as a human, you have great motherfucking power, bro. You can literally create any life you want. But with great power, once again, comes great responsibility. And you have to realize that in order to get that great power of manifestation, of creating your own reality, of mastering, you know, self-development and improving yourself. You have to take responsibility for yourself. A lot of people don't want to do this. A lot of people may cut you off because you are taking responsibility for yourself and they don't want to take responsibility for themselves. A lot of people are fat because they blame it on genetics. Nigga, if you ran every day, you want to be fat. Keep it G real. You, you ran a mile as hard as you could every day. You wouldn't be fat no more. Period. Period. See, think about think about it like this. Say you're 300 pounds over and you have a friend who's 300 pounds over. Now, you decide, I don't want to be big anymore. And you run every day. You run a mile or two every day for a year. Now you... Now you want 50 and your friend still 300 pounds, still sitting on his ass, still saying I'm big boned. What, what do you think he's still going to be homies with you? Really? You really got to think about this shit. We are all reflecting of each other. So he just see you self improve. He just see you do th things. Now, in his mind, he got two ways to go. He's got two roads to go. He can either self improve which is the harder road, but it's the most rewarding. Or he just cut you off, ignore the negativity, ignore the emotions that you are bringing out inside of himself and just continue doing his easier shit. Easier route, but less rewarding. I understand, trust me, you're not pushing this question on nobody, but this is what happens. This is the question that their higher self is asking them that they are getting subconsciously. You got two roads to go. Harder, but bigger reward, or easier and less reward. What do a lot of people take since a lot of people want to take the easy route, since a lot of people don't want to work hard for them, since a lot of people don't want to work hard, since a lot of people don't want to improve themselves, a lot of people take the easier route. And that's why my friend, you have no friends. <laughs> the best thing to do is really just keep focusing on yourself. Keep doing what the fuck you got to do. And you just finna naturally attract people in your life who are more into the shit you into. So if you're playing video games all day, you're going to attract people in your life who play video games all day. If you uh, work out or if you're into finance or if you're, um, you know, into spirituality, you're going to attract people who are into those things. So if you debate and on whether or not to improve yourself because you don't want to lose friends, do you 100% do you focus on yourself because you never know when one door closes, another one opens. So while you're closing this door, 
you got a whole people who resonate more with you. But since you're so afraid of closing this door, you, you can't open the next one. Now, in the process of opening the next door, you know, in the process of closing that door, you might be like, damn, I closed that door. I just closed that door. I just lost something. But you need to focus on, you know, yourself and you need to focus on having an abundance mindset. And you need to remember that you will gain something at the end of the day. And that when you open that door, you might have people there who resonate more with what the fuck you doing with your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't have people around you who don't want to improve themselves. Don't have people around you who have pessim- who have pessimistic and negative mindsets about life in general. You know what I'm saying? Do, do I hang? I don't hang around niggas who who uh, always complain about the plight of being a black person. Now I will recognize. There's plights in being a black person. I recognize more than half of these niggas out here because I actually do, you know, study black history and all that. But we're not going to get into that in this video. But I do actually study these things and I, I recognize the plight of being a black person more than a lot of these niggas out here who, you know, be out here. But I don't put that negativity on my life. Now, I recognize it. I'm aware. I, I'm aware. I don't put that negativity on my life. I roll with the punches. I keep going. I'm only putting wind in myself. Okay. So that's what you need to do. Only put wind in yourself. Cut off niggas who you even feel even a little bit are toxic to your life. Now, of course, go in there. Really understand. Really meditate on it. But if you feel like somebody's toxic in your life, bro, cut them off. Who cares? Nobody that cool. Nobody's that cool. Nobody's that cool. <laughs> Ain't nobody that cool. So if you feel like somebody negative, cut them off. That's it. That's why it's it's a little lonely at the top, but shit, it's still the top. That's where I'll end off this video. Really hope you guys resonated with the words I spoke on today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about the video. Peace out.